viewers, and welcome to episode 26. Uh, just wanted to show that uh, I've got my quarry almost uh, rebuilt. Uh, this would be the quarry mark II. Um, I've redesigned it a little bit, uh, solved a couple of the problems that I was having the last time. Um, one of them was breaking of wires, uh, and when it moved in certain directions, I'm thinking that's going to be uh, going to be fixed. Um, I also, um, the motors will at this point never get stuck unpowered. Um, the uh, the last uh, drive uh, drive system I built, uh, based on uh, the EG Drive Mark VI, um, would occasionally, sometimes the motors, if you moved them too quickly, they would move up out of uh, out of a powered state. Um, and then wouldn't have enough power to move the quarry. Uh, basically, you solve this by just you know connecting battery boxes to one of the faces where it's going to move to. And this was a little bit of a problem on the up and down motion, not so much the uh, uh, the compass directions, just the up and down. You know, it was hard to figure out how to get a battery box or even a wire uh, connecting down here. Um, so this was the uh, the solution. It does make it uh, one block longer than it was before, but uh, f uh, for this uh, redundancy, I'm you know happy to to take up an extra block so these motors won't get stuck. Um, I also think this here looks a lot more solid than it than the last one did. Um, I moved all the solar panels onto on top of the thermal pile uh, stacks. Um, to save on some space, and uh, actually, I think I might even get rid of these four batteries in here. Um, possibly even the rest of these if they're not connecting to anything. Um, yeah, I probably even could do that. Um, get rid of some of the batteries in here, because uh, this is where obviously where the computer is going to go, along with all of the cabling and uh, uh, redstone or uh, wireless. Uh, transmitters. Uh, so this here is going to be the where the uh, quarry arm or the quarry head is attached to. Uh, so this will be the uh, east-west movement. And then uh, I still haven't built the uh, the up and down. Uh, what I was actually thinking um, is because the last time I basically had to figure out how, uh, how to build it first. Um, I didn't record any of it. Uh, so what I might do is actually record this one. Um, so let's uh, get started with that. Hopefully I'll have enough uh, frames to get this going. Uh, okay, so... Let's see if I can remember this. I know I'm going to need uh, some motors. I think I have my backpack still. Yep. So we'll need two motors, one for up and one for down. And where's my sonic screwdriver? Uh, there we go. So this one I want. I want this one on the down. Or do I want the down here? Yeah, I think I want the up one here. And the down here. Yeah. So what I'm going to have is I'm going to have a deployer here and a block breaker sitting up top on top of this block so when the frame comes in here it gets uh, gets broken on the uh, on the up okay I'm going to need to get rid of this for now so I can make sure I have room for all this crazy wiring that's going to need to happen easier. Let's grab some extras. I'm going to grab one block breaker for now. And do I have any extra? Yeah, I've got some covers. So what I have to do in here is actually put covers all along the sides. 
so that the uh, that the arm doesn't move. So I need my deployer like so, and my block breaker like so, facing the wrong way. These two here go together, so what I think I'm going to do is wire it up like this. Find my panels. Panels, not covers. So I want a panel there and a panel there. And for this... I like this. Yeah, that's a good question. Why do I need these things back here like that? I don't think I do. So I can just do this. And I'll have to put a strip in here. That's no big deal. Because I want power to this motor, uh, here, this frame motor here. And this, uh, and this block breaker, yeah, because that's the upward, upward motion of the uh, core. Ah. Yep. And I'll need a piece of some redstone uh, or some pneumatic tubes. Should still have some in here. I need rare ones. Don't need redstone tubes for these. I think that'll work. I'll have to try it. And I don't have any levers, of course, and I don't have any sticks. I just want to make sure the uh, that the frame is going to uh, go all the way back and into the inventory of this deployer, and it does. Yep. So that'll work. So it gets deployed. It gets shot down by these two uh, connections. There, I'll have the um, the other transmitter right here or the receiver here wired up to this uh, block breaker and then all the way down to this other motor here. Uh, so let's make up that cover strip before I forget. Oh, that's a good question. Is that going to stick? Yes, because that's a Uh, that's a panel on there, so that'll be fine. It's more red alloy wire. Big deal. All 
Alright, so I'm going to sleep through the night and get the uh, last few things that I need, and uh, I'll be right back. So, I do need some uh, wireless uh, receivers. So, I am, I've already taught these to my uh, crafting system downstairs, uh, along with all this other stuff here. Uh, like, I can make uh, battery boxes and uh, all of these uh, the stone pointers, cathodes, anodes, stone wire. Um, just, you know, to make my life easy. Uh, those redstone uh, uh, receivers uh, and transmitters, they took like eight different crafting tables because they have so many uh, smaller components to them. But it's definitely worth it. Let's go in this bag. But, uh, yeah, so I think this is going to work out uh, really well. Uh, and so for this run, last run I had the, uh, the digging arm, you know, go partially under and partially at the back. I think I'm just going to do it right uh, completely underneath of it uh, because this is so, so long, essentially. I get my uh, receiver. Oh, there we go. So, receiver down. that and one of them down here like that and I just have to make a few more frame connections up here so all of this tube is good to go let's connect it to there it's looking pretty good I'm just gonna have to break this off for a second levers, which I just tossed in this bag. Just want to make sure none of that stuff is going to break off. Alright, the moment of truth. Okay, that lever broke off, but that's okay, because that was just on the front there. Let's go around the back. That cable's good. All those cables are good. Excellent. So now I load up this here with some frames. Just don't have any left. And I can't send that down. But that's okay. So now I just have to build the uh, the actual mining head and uh, this oh and the computer of course for the control. Oh, I even lost the disc. Oh, that's even worse. I'm gonna have to redo all those commands too. Oh well, just more opportunity to make things better, right? Uh, okay, so the mining head. Uh, I really don't need to build this anywhere specific because I can just move the quarry and and just pick it up. Uh, so, there's some block breakers. I'll need these, and I'll need my redstone tube. I'll need this. And I'll probably need this. And uh, I've got some of those. mistake I did in the first mining head that I made I made um, this is because I'm basically editing that video now um, I need a row of frames down this like 
that to connect all the redstone tubing to. actually going to put it down here. So that's going to be No, I want this to span across because that's how it's going to hook up to the power or the uh, the signal. That's what the signal's going to hook up to. Uh, one more, I think. Yeah, like that. Stone jacket wire is going to go down there. and it's just not in this chest connected because of this chest it was causing some problems so just tossing stuff around when I need to Cause moving an item over is a lot easier than uh, um, I have to go craft that whole thing myself Mining head, com well, almost complete. Um, because this is running right underneath of here, even though I have um, uh, panels or uh, covers on here, I'm going to put covers on the top of this as well, just to be extra safe. Because um, I do have an exposed uh, battery box, and I wouldn't want this here to stick to that. So. I had covers, I'm pretty sure I had covers on the one side of, uh, of the last frame head because I did have that problem. I think it pulled a piece of wire off wire off the uh, thing as well, off of it as well. And I do need some here and I do need covers on the bottom which I will get done in just a second. Oh yeah, maybe I should move this over just a little bit. Yeah, you know what? I am going to. Because this here is going to be up 
against the wall. So I'm going to move this back just a little bit. Yeah, because if the if the if the arm is over here, it's going to need covers on it. It's going to stick to stick to the you know the walls that it's mining out and. Uh, and there's no way to get a cover on a frame after you've deployed the frame. So we need to make this up here like that. And this like this. And I think that should do it. Toss an extra frame up here, just like that, just for the heck of it. And put down my redstone pneumatic tubes. Those are all connected to the frame. Put down some stone panels. All the other stuff probably wound up in here. Yep, did. nice thing about this, if there is a nice thing about this uh, whole system getting destroyed, is that at least I don't have to reset all the frequencies, I still they still all exist, which is kind of nice. So there's my quarry head pulse, and yeah, I think that's just about it. Wow, that uh, went fairly quickly. Um, fairly quickly, and I think it turned out better than it did before. So I'm just going to do this. And... To move my quarry south. And then I want to move it east. Now we are connected, so let's see if I can move up. It's possible I won't be able to because of all these frames sticking to that dirt. Yeah, it's just going to take the dirt with it, that's fine. So, I just have to break all this dirt off. And get some covers on there, and whoa! Whoops. To remember not to uh, ever take that off. Keep doing that. So put some cobblestone covers on here, and this quarry it will be. Uh, I'm just going to set some frequencies and again build the uh, computer. And I keep on thinking I'm done, but that computer is going to uh, take some time to get it all coded again. But now that I know what the commands are and, and how to set them up, it probably will be a lot quicker. Um, might even do it on camera this time. Last time I had to, you know, figure out how to figure out the language as well and back and forth to the, you know, to various websites on how to write these, write the program and all that kind of stuff. So let's get this dirt back down here. This whole Flying Quarry Mark II. Not too bad. Ah. It looked like it moved over just fine. So I'm going to get all the components ready for that uh, to build up that computer and uh, I'll be back once I've got all that done. Once the frequency set and a little bit of cleanup, uh, let's get the wires back on here and, and so on. And I'll be back. Yeah, I just got all the frequency set. Go to test the uh, up and down motion, make sure that's working. Doesn't work.
look at the back, figure out why. No power. So, so I made a little change. I just uh, wired this up a little bit differently, or you know, framed this up a little differently. And just for looks, I think I'm just gonna do this. I think that looks even worse. Ah, what the heck. Uh, so yeah, so got that. Uh, this should get that power taken care of. I think it's, uh, yeah, it's charging up. That'll take a few minutes. But uh, yes, now for the computer. Alright, I'm going to look up all these recipes again. Okay, I'm back with all of the components I'm going to need for this, uh, for this computer, at least to get the computer itself built. Uh, I'm still going to need some more. Uh, ribbon cable and bundled cable to actually make all the connections I'm going to need. Uh, so there's the I.O. expander. And uh, I'm actually kind of, it's, it could have been a worse time that uh, when this thing went down and exploded on me or, you know, malfunctioned. Uh, because right now I have a fair amount of diamonds. Uh, I think I was up to like 19 and then went mining some more and, and got a got up a bunch more, so I was up to like 40 something. <clears throat> so it, it could have happened at a worse time. I'm glad it didn't. Uh, let's see if I get this right. Uh, I want to say I'm missing something. Oh, another piece of ribbon cable, which I, which I don't have. I figure out how to do that. Ribbon cable. Oh, just three fine copper wires. I've got some of those somewhere. And that makes me plenty. So this should be the monitor now. already made the back plane. Wasn't too difficult, just some fine copper wire, some gold, and some iron bars. <coughs> but attached to that back plane is going to be a uh, be the 8K RAM module that uh, that I'm act that I require in order to make all the commands that I use. Um, found that out the hard way the last time I was, you know, doing a computer, it, uh, you know, gave me, uh, an out of memory error, which wasn't very cool. And so this should be the disk drive. Ah, okay. Just change around this. And disk drive. There we go. So there's all the components for my computer, and I already have a fourth boot disk, but I do want to make another disk uh, with just some wood and some iron. Okay. Do I have any leftover wood? Does not appear so. make my uh, mining disc and this time I'll actually make a copy of the stupid thing and uh, and hang on to it uh, so that's that uh, and I just have to place it up here I'm not sure if I want to make another layer of frames on top of this or not um, I haven't quite decided yet um, reason being if I start dropping things on top of this and they're not connected to the frame it's you know they're gonna get broken off, so I think that might actually end up being easier. Unfortunately, I'm kind of out of frames, so I gotta do some more. Uh, grass, and a stack of wood. This frame's probably going to be nice and nice, and I'll be right back once I've got some frames crafted up, and uh, we'll make up that bundled cable. So 
so I've got all of the, I think I've got all of the transmitters down. I don't have the uh, colored cable hooked up to them just yet, um, but I think I have all that I'll need. Um, up down north, south, east, west for the, uh, the entire quarry, and uh, up down east, west, pulse, and on off for the quarry head, with the exception of this on off that goes to this light here. It's for uh, to signify that the quarry cycle is done, so I can go and check it out. Uh, so right now I'm just putting up putting all of the computer together. And uh, something I discovered in uh, the last time, I needed a, a, a RAM upgrade, uh, was it did not like to be connected to these, uh, to the frame itself. Um, so I had to use a block of stone uh, to put the back plate on like that, and then the 8K RAM module like that. Uh, and yes, I'll have to put frames beside them, I'll also have to put. Uh, uh, frame to connect the monitor, like so, and then the disk drive, like so, and I believe I can do this to connect the I.O. drive, or the I.O. expander. Uh, so all of that should be connected fine, except for up here, which I'll need a couple of frames for. So I'll do it on this side, like so. computer should now be completely connected and able to move. And if I... So now I have to connect the colored wire, or the, cover, uh, the colored cabling to that. So I'm going to clean up some inventory and uh, get that placed down. Um, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got all my wool and uh, I guess it really doesn't matter what order I put it down, but uh, the color of wool uh, corresponds to an actual uh, binary value starting at 1, uh, and then 2, uh, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, etc., etc., all the way up to black. Um, and that's how this, that's how you tell the computer which uh, signal you want. Um, so we're going to start down here, like this, and then like this here. Uh, so yeah, I'll do it this way. not too bad. Seems to take, take up less room than it did before. See what happens when you build um, build things the second time. They always end up being better. Just going to put this stuff back. Kind of in the same order. It's not really going to matter because it's still in order in the chest. Uh, so I now have to set up these frequencies corresponding to this wool. So this one here is going to be quarry north that uh, yeah this will work very south east and west quarry up and quarry down Now we should be able to boot this computer up here with our fourth boot disk. Not cover up the disk drive. Great, I think I just ejected it and went into this backpack. There we are. Boot disk in. Okay, start. Now let's see what we get. There we go. 8K, 8.7K free, and uh, we should be able to um, let's see here. Uh, how do I set? So 
this should turn on the north. Um, and it will probably move the quarry as well. And move the quarry, and it stays. Interesting. Moved like three blocks. That's. I probably would have kept going, but it had got attached to over there. Very interesting indeed. Uh, so. Hmm. Where's the, I think north is at the front. Hmm. Interesting. So, that, uh, well, I'll shut this off. I'll turn the signal off. And then I'll turn that signal off. So I'm going to write all these commands. Uh, it is uh, This video has gone a little bit long, so I am going to wrap it up here. I'm going to set the rest of these frequencies. Uh, this is going to be the, uh, the quarry head up, down, uh, east and west, and pulse uh, for the digger. And then this here is going to be for that light over here. Um, mainly for when the cycle is complete uh, and it's dug up an entire chunk. Uh, that light I would like to go on so I can, you know, hop in the portal, which I'm going to put down right uh, probably here, and uh, so I can get back and forth to here uh, easily. All I need to do is do that. And uh, maybe I'll face this this way. So when I pop out of the portal, I'll be standing right in front of my computer. Yeah, I think that'll work. I like that a little better. So I'll get all that set up and uh, see you next episode.